So guys, here are my spring rolls. It's really, really good and very crispy. five cloves they're aside oh, yeah. So guys, the ingredients are the aromatics, garlic, red onions, and lemon zest. It's about a tablespoon of lemon zest, but if you don't like lemon, you can just skip it as well. I love lemon. I use lemon for cooking and baking and for different things as well. And then we have the protein here. I have one kilo of ground chicken but you can add any protein you want as ground beef or ground turkey and if you are vegetarian you can just skip the protein and of course the spring rolls wrappers I use this kind you can get it at Carrefour or the Asian store or any other store, grocery store. Shredded carrots, a pack, and bean sprout. I have here almost a kilo of bean sprout. And of course, soya sauce. I use this kind. You can use any soy sauce you can you want as well and salt and pepper to taste and also I use a little bit of chicken stock I'm gonna show you guys later hey guys now I'm gonna saute the onion and garlic with olive oil the, the pan is already hot so I'm using here a wok pan because um, it's gonna be a lot 
but you can use in a pan you want you can hear the sizzling Then the onions I'm gonna add salt to taste You can decide how much salt you want. I'm just eyeballing it. And then salt and pepper. No, I mean pepper. <laughs> I already added uh, salt. So. I'm gonna let it saute. For a minute. Then I'm gonna add the ground chicken. And it's very important that the ground chicken is spread out. I'm gonna season this as well, a little bit more of black pepper. A little bit of salt and a little bit of soy sauce Up then ground chicken because it's um this is my opinion because it's very important that you know it's it's almost in the same size when you especially when you wrap it with the spring rolls then I'm gonna add the lemon zest and mix it together so I'm gonna put the lid on and let it cook for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna check it and check it on guys here is my homemade chicken stock I always make homemade chicken stock because I love chicken soup so um, here in Dubai, I can still find uh, chicken stock in the can, but back home in the U.S., you can find it in every groceries. So, but even if we live in U.S., I always make my homemade chicken stock because I love using chicken stock for sauces, and of course, when I feel like chicken soup or my husband. I always, you know, use chicken stock and then uh, uh, sometimes I don't feel like making chicken stock from the scratch. So when I made chicken stock, I always put some in the freezer. At least I can put it in the freezer for two months. 
So um, what I make my chicken stock of, of course it's chicken, whole chicken that I uh, slice in big pieces and then of course I add vegetables and aromatics as well and then I drain it, I drain it and then yeah I put it in a container and of course I put the date so I know when I made it but at least I can freeze it for two, mo two months and sometimes too when I'm um, cooking rice and I want extra, extra flavor of the rice I, I use chicken stock instead of water it adds a lot of flavor so anyway guys I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken stock of my spring rolls wrapper here my, my spring rolls filling here so look and the chicken Done. I'm just gonna spread it out again. I mean, if you can't find any chicken stock, you know, you don't need to add it in a filling, but I like to add you know, chicken stock in my filling filling here because it's add more extra flavor it's all about the flavors <laughs> on my husband uh, I'm gonna show you guys later when everything is done when my filling is done Can you see this big pieces I don't like you know that's why I'm like crushing it in small pieces because you know it's it's not good to like to wrap this in the spring rolls when it, there's a big chunk of meat so I try to break it <laughs> Sun smells good here guys so I'm gonna add chicken stock now. And my husband, he like, he likes eating the filling. <laughs> it's like a chicken uh, soup. So, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken stock here. bit of that sun Let's be lot look at this I'm gonna use the tongue here it's easy to work with So, I'm gonna add the bean sprout, guys. I always rinse it before I use it. So, and then I drain it in this colander. Because it looks the water. It's very important to rinse before using. I mean, that's my opinion. <laughs> I like it clean. So, I'm gonna add the bean sprout. Well, it looks a lot here, but you know the bean sprouts is gonna shrink in a way. Make sure to mix it well together with the rest of the filling. Add 
here. Then cooking here, I'm just gonna do some cleaning. I'm gonna clean a little bit because I like my kitchen clean all the time when I'm cooking. I don't like clutter. <laughs> so guys, here is the filling of my spring rolls. It smells good here, it's really good, I can taste it in. And Mark will get some of the filling as well, he loves it. Hey guys, so here is my spring roll filling. My husband loves eating it as a soup. I am going to drain the liquid before I'm going to wrap it in the spring roll. Hey guys, so uh, Ava's made spring rolls today, or she's making spring rolls. The first part she does is she makes the filling, and it's a double bonus for me because I get to start with this, which is like a fantastic soup, and then she fries the spring rolls, and I get to chow down on those as well. So uh, I'm going to enjoy this and let you guys be jealous. Mmm. Fantastic. So what do you think, babe? Fantastic, like I said. Awesome as always. Thank you very much. You're welcome, my love. Okay, now I need to wrap the spring rolls so Yay. you can so you have something to snack as well. Later. That's right. Second part of the double bonus. Yep. See you guys. <laughs> hey guys, now I'm draining the excess liquid for my spring roll filling. If there is too much liquid in the filling when I wrap it, the wrapper will kind of melt and burn when I fried it. So I always drain it before I wrap it. So I'm gonna um, show you guys the liquid under this colander. Still draining. Hey guys, so I added here a tablespoon of flour and of course water. I just eyeballed it and I just whisk it together. I'm gonna use this as my glue. Hey guys! Now I'm going to show you guys how I wrap my spring roll. So as you can see, here is my filling. And here is my glue. This is a tablespoon of flour and water. I just eyeball it and I mix it well together. And here is a paper towel to dry. And here is water to wash my hands. And of course, to dry off and here is the wrapper and here are more wrappers here I put it in a damp towel so the wrappers doesn't get dry so now I'm gonna wrap my spring rolls how much I put I just eyeballed it I like to use my hands it's a uh, very good tools <laughs> rinse it there and make sure when you wrap your spring rolls you tighten it you roll it tight you just fold both sides and then you just roll it the end and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the glue basically flour and water that I mix well together just like I told you guys earlier so here is my first spring roll guys so what do you think comment below
so I'm just gonna continue wrapping more spring rolls just be careful when you take the spring rolls wrapper because it's very very thin it each side and just roll it so there is my second spring roll hey guys here are my spring rolls I made 28 pieces I'm gonna fry eight pieces today and the rest I'm, I'm gonna put it in the freezer then we can just throw them out when we feel like spring rolls but I always make spring rolls anyway so our spring rolls it doesn't last long Hey guys, now I'm gonna fry my spring rolls. So I have um, extra light olive oil here, but you can use any oil you want. So anyway, I'm gonna check if the temperature is hot enough. So I'm using here a chopstick. I'm gonna stick in there. And if I can see that it's bubble around the chopstick, then it's hot enough. Yeah. So I'm gonna add spring roll there. I'm gonna get the spring roll. So I'm gonna put the spring rolls there. Look, it's perfect temperature. So I'm gonna add just four to start because I don't want it to overcrowd the pan so it's gonna take about um, see a minute or under a minute but you need to pay attention in it so it doesn't get burned I'm trying to move it around so it's fried evenly we're almost there look I love it when it's golden brown because it's crispy so, I have a paper towel here and a colander as well because I'm gonna dry the excess oil so this is perfect you need to be careful it's perfect it's golden brown and crispy yum So guys, I'm gonna fry it until it's golden brown. We're almost there. Make sure to move it, move it around so it's fried evenly. This is 
perfect. This is golden brown and I'm gonna take it out. Then I'm gonna put it here. Hey babe, are you ready for spring rolls? Yep, at long last. Time okay, they in love. I have here guys a dipping sauce it's sweet and sour sauce but you can add any sauce of your liking so I hope you like my video and please subscribe and also feel free to share be safe everyone out there and take care of each other Thank you for watching and see you soon. Hada! Bye bye!